Hi guys, it's Mitch here, just coming on to do the Sunday Tarot and Oracle review day for you all. I hope you all had a fantastic um, Christmas day and I hope you had an enjoyable Boxing Day. Um, I hope you survived the madness of it all because I know it's been very different for a lot of people this year but hopefully you made it work for you um, in whatever format you celebrated it. Now, I'm really, really excited to share this deck with you today. So it's a deck that I've been waiting to get in my collection for quite a long time. So this is the Winter Weight um, Tarot. Now this is a revised edition. So this was originally sort of produced and printed as a limited edition run. Um, the artwork is created by a guy called James um, Ambrems. I'm not sure if I've said his surname correct, but I will put the links up for this in my um, in the comments section of this, so you've got everything that you need. So I'm just going to sort of uh, read you the back of this. So this is created by um, an independent uh, guy who's created um, sort of like um, well, his business is called Tarot Collectibles, and basically what he does is he does variations of the traditional Raider Weight deck. So like this is the winter edition and he does a few different types of winter edition. So this is the 2019 one that was redone and re-put into print for a very limited time. Um, there is a 2020 uh, version of this as well. He also does things like the Apocalypse Raider Weight Tarot. He does a deck that's like a UV tarot so it glows in the dark under UV lights. He does uh, a groovy Raider Weight Tarot. There's quite a few. And I'll sort of show you his page in a minute, but he does really, really cool stuff. And he designs and he literally illustrates everything. So everything that you see has been created by James. So we'll have a look at this, but I'll just read you what this says on the back here, just to give you a little bit of an overview. So this is his logo at the bottom. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that too well. Um, but he's on Instagram and he's on Facebook, so you can obviously check him out on both um, channels there. But it just says... Winter has come to the world of Waitsmith. Every character is, adjoin sorry, is enjoying the snow and joining in the celebration of the season. We hope this deck will bring a little joy to your festive readings. This 2019 revisit revised edition with updated images has all the Christmas cheer and charm for our original from our original version. May all of your festive wishes come true and may a happy new year await you. So it's really, really cool. It's really nice. I really like it. So let's check this bad boy out. Now, in terms of kind of quality of the box, it's a lovely sort of tuck box, as they're called, or they're known as. Um, so really nice, glossy sort of finish. Then as we open this up, now what I do like with this, and I think this works really well with kind of decks of this kind of um, nature, um, is you don't get any instructions in the box, but on the website, all the decks they've produced, you can go in and there are actually like PD formats to all the instructions or, or the meanings of the cards, which I think is a really, really cool way of doing it because this is self-promoted, this is self-published, so, you know, and that is expensive. And I like the fact they've done it that way because by doing it, what they've allowed or what they've actually been able to do is put more money into the cards themselves. So the stock quality of the cards are extremely rigid, they're extremely thick, they're a beautiful kind of matte finish. They're really, really good um, in terms of how they how they kind of are. So I'm really, really loving that side of things. So yeah, really, really cool. So hopefully um, you'll enjoy this deck. So these are the back. So again, lovely sort of um, tartan, kind of a little bit Christmassy looking there. And then as we go to the cards on the front, now they're not all in order, but I'm just going to literally sort of show you them so you can see. I'm not, I'm, I might show you all of them, we'll, we'll sort of see. They are normal kind of tarot size, as in traditional Raider weight tarot size. So they're not too big, they're not too small, good size. And then let's just literally go through them here. So like you have the full, so you've got all the traditional sort of aspects that you would have in the normal cards, but just with the kind of twist. So the magician there, I love the fact, you know, that he looks quite powerful. Um, some of them are in order, some of them are not. So. And I love for the emperor, obviously, because it's a very fatherly sort of uh, kind of card, they've used Father Christmas. So I think that's pretty cool. This is just a really, really cool deck. I've wanted it for such a long time. Oops. 
so we've got the lovers there. So like I said, I want to show you enough of these that you get the idea, but I don't want to show you too many. Um, just in case you want to treat yourself, you, you know. I will say with this deck as well, the, the only thing to be a bit mindful of or a bit aware of, um, because it is self-published as well, this is not the cheapest deck. So this is like a self-indulgent deck. This, I think, cost me around the best part of, like, well, it was actually, um, it was a Christmas present, but I ordered it on the person's behalf. Um, and then they gave me the money afterwards. But I think we're looking around the 45 to 50 sort of mark with the postage and everything. So that's the only thing to be mindful of. It's definitely a more self-indulgent kind of deck. So just be mindful of that if you choose to sort of treat yourself to this or any of the range. What I love with the Devil card is they've used Krampus. I love the fact that they've got that. I think that's pretty cool as well. So they've really thought about this, you know, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, I just want to show you enough of these. Um, also, even though it's a UK-based uh, company, what I will say is that the, um, the time scale for delivery takes a little bit longer because they're actually printed in... Um, I think it's like Germany, they get printed, then they get shipped over. So that is also something to be just a little bit mindful of. Um, you know, they can take two to six weeks for delivery. So it's one of those decks, once you've ordered it, try to then forget about it. Easier said than done if you're like me and obsessed with tarot. But that is something to just be mindful of. So then we're going into the suits. So like we've got the pentacles here. So, and I love the fact they've got like the elves and the pixies, the fairies, they've got so many elements to this. They've got this kind of Scrooge character for, so they've really, like I say, tried to think quite long and hard about how each sort of um, image is going to be conducted and created. But I just think they're really, really special, really fun. Love them. I love the little robin on that one there as well. So, you know, this might really, really resonate with some of you. You might be looking at this thinking, oh my God, I need to get this in the collection. Some of you might be thinking, no, it's a little bit too much money for what it is. I think quality wise, it's really good. Um, definitely, this is all about the image. You know, this is an arty deck. So based on that, this is definitely a 10 because I love the fact they've kept so much detail to the original kind of Raider Waits, literally, they've, they've worked really, really hard to kind of create and get something really, really fabulous, really special here. Um, again, love this one. I love the little turkey sort of roaming around on the bottom there. And the king here in all of his indulgence. And then we're going on into the cups. So that's a very sort of Christmassy busy card there as you can see so like I say I just want to show you enough of these um, so you get the idea but beautiful stunning artwork and literally each card hasn't been forgotten so much energy and and real love has gone into every kind of card you know which I think is also really really nice to see I mean, this one, I love the sort of the way that star lights up in the background there. So like, you know, walking away from, from things and starting the new. Again, we've got the beautiful queen here, sitting on her throne, looking very Christmassy or wintry. Then we're going into the swords. I think I will just show you all of these, you know. I'm, I'm just thinking, oh, sort it, show you all of these. Why not? Then you've got a complete overview. I know this is always like quite a sort of dark card, but I actually really like the way they've got the snow and the frost, the icicles on that one. So, I don't know if you can see that too well there, lots of trees in the background. So for anybody that reads tarot already, particularly if you've worked with Raider Waite, 
um, which I know a lot of people do as a starting out deck. It's one that I tend to sort of teach with quite a lot. But this is going to be a perfect deck for you because you literally can just transfer it over from what you already know um, with little to sort of no problem, to be honest. So that's going to be really, really cool. Um, we've got the sort of darker cards that, you know, people fear a little bit more coming in here. But again, they, they kind of are really what they are, aren't they? But yeah, I just think it's really, really important to sort of show these to you guys. Um, so like I say, it would be easy for anybody that has an awareness for tarot, it would be really easy to just transfer this over and to sort of, you know, read them and going into the wands. But I think they're really, really cool. I really, really do love this deck, so I'm very, very excited to be having it. Um, it's been in my collection or in my watch list for a time and I purchased this obviously there's various places you can purchase this deck I purchased it off Etsy um, But you know you can buy direct from their website if you wanted to um, I don't think it really matters too much. I think price wise. It's the same um, But yeah, just something to again be be mindful of be aware of So just a couple more cards to show you there. Okay, that's a, an extra one there. And the final one. Brilliant. Okay, so I think that's all of them in their entirety, really. So let's have a look at the website, because the website's really, really good. So this is kind of like what you get. I might just spin it around this way, actually. Let's just see. So as you go on to it, this is what you've kind of initially got, the welcome page. So it's called Tarot Collectibles, and it's really showcasing at the moment the uh, like the UV ones. Okay, but then what you've got on the side is you've got loads of stuff. So it says all about the artist, so you can go into like all the sidebars and panels and have a look at everything. Then it's got PD PDF card meaning. So this is where you can go into this deck and we can find it. So these are all the different decks that have been created. So you can find yours. So we've got the Winter uh, Weight Tarot. So download that. And then what it will do is it will literally bring up the meaning. So they've created this, you know, as in you could print this off if you wanted to and then have it for yourself or just use the website directly. I like the fact they've done that. And probably if I was, well, I am designing my own cards at the moment. And that might be a format that I use because I know it's much more easily cost effective, really, you know. OK, so let's just have a little look and see on this. So what I'm going to do then, as ever, I'm going to pick us a card for uh, for Sunday and obviously for the week ahead. And it'll be interesting to see what that says. OK, oops. Now, I'm going to give these a really good shuffle because for the most part, they were kind of in order. So... Give them a really, really good shuffle up. Oops. I am also going to be doing some live readings on um, Monday night with the beautiful um, Anna. Oh, I can't remember her name. Oh, it's gone blank. Um, oh, what's her name? Annalie Chamberlain. That's it. Such apologies, Annalyn. It's been one of those days. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing some live readings with the beautiful Anna Lee on Monday um, on my Facebook page if you're interested in being part of that come along get involved and I'll be working with these cards putting them into use okay so oh interesting we've got the card of the hermit so I think for a lot of us we are just taking a breather taking a rest taking that time to just chill de-stress particularly now that Christmas has passed and come to be and obviously unfortunately further sort of tier systems potential lockdowns so that is going to restrict some of us so it's interesting the hermit is showing for us but let's see what it says here so i've got to find the hermit so it just says here the hermit ventures out into the snowstorm he represents the knowledge within and his cloak gives him some privacy he carries a staff to aid him in his walk so that's a very kind of quick overview of, of the card itself. Um, you know, there's not much other information about it because then literally we're going into all the other suits. 
So yeah, I see the Hermit as just taking some time out from the world, but you've got the Lantern of Hope, the Lantern of Truth. So when you need to kind of continue walking your pathway, you can obviously, uh, you know, do that. So I see this as like taking a breather, taking a rest, but that staff will keep you upright and supported. And, you know, it's literally living life on your terms as best as possible. Um, but it's also a card of solitude. So it's definitely retracting from the world a little bit. And I think a lot of us are doing that, whether it's actively doing that or through circumstances, almost being forced or slightly persuaded to do that, you know, with the economy around us, but that's the state of play. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that card with you. Hope it resonates. Hope it makes sense. So in terms of this deck, it's absolutely a 10. I love it. I, I really can't kind of fault it, actually. Um, the only sort of very, very slight criticism I would have, I don't overly like these tuck boxes. I would prefer, um, because what sometimes happens is like, as you can sort of see here, they, you can see this, they split a little bit. So there's a slight split in there already. Um, that's the only downside with these. I don't think they're always the best boxes, um, but that's just how it is. But the cards, absolute great quality, beautiful. So they are like a really nice matte finish. They've definitely put all the money in the cards and I think top marks for doing that because that, to my mind, is how it should be done. Because you often see these beautiful books that get created and then it's almost like the cards become secondary. Yeah, it's the cards that are going to be used the most. So I like the fact they've prioritised the money in the cards. I think that's really, really important. And like I say, they've used this format, which is quite clever. And they've done it in a really, really beautiful way where you can see everything. They haven't done like reverse meanings or anything like that. It's a very quick snapshot of the card. So it's also, uh, you know, encouraging you to work with your own intuition. But I really, really love it. So really, really excited to have found this um, artist and this company. So definitely check them out. Um, and as we go back onto this website, what we've got again, if we go into about, it will just bring up like a load of like information, basically. Um, I'm trying to see the best way to show it to you here. Um, they sort of bring up a lot of information about the artist themselves and other um, sort of things that he's created or creating. So as you can see there, there's some rather interesting artwork loads of stuff now if you go into um the shop page what you also have got is all the different sort of decks he's created and these are kind of all on my list really um so do, 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 do. let's just see hold on it's wanting me to sort of... okay yeah so this just shows you like everything so we've got like the, all the decks here, I don't know if you can see that too well, so it's got like the UV one, the groovy one that I talked about. Um, there's a deck called the Tripping Raider 8, there's a summer deck, um, just loads of stuff on here. I'm trying to see if they've still got the Apocalypse deck that I really had a, uh, an awareness for when I sort of saw it, it looked pretty cool. Um, they've also got one that's called here like the Twisted Tarot. So the Twisted Tarot Tower, so those are things like horror. I don't know if you can see that too well there. Um, yeah, Deadweight Apocalypse Survivor. This is the one I was on about. So that looks pretty cool, like a zombie one. I might have to invest and treat myself to that at some point. So like I say, I'll include the link, check it out, but definitely worth getting involved. Um, and obviously, as I've said in many videos before, I always love to support self-produced and self um you know published um artwork and decks because these aren't something that so many people know about they're a bit more sort of specialist but i actually think really cool really really love this so if you're interested check it out it's the winter um the winter weight this is the revised edition and there are some other editions of winter ones on there as well so I'm going to leave the energy of this with you. Stay safe, stay well. If I don't talk to you again before, have a fantastic happy new year and I will catch up with you soon. Bye for now.